Hello everyone, Erin here from Queen of Ants and today we're going to run through using a small heat mat or heat cable to keep your ants nice and warm, especially through those winter months. Uh, so typically I say most ant species prefer a temperature between 20 and 24 degrees. If they get too cold, it can slow their development right down and your queen may even stop laying eggs. So it's important that we keep them at a nice, comfortable temperature. And sometimes we might need a little heat mat like this one to help us out. Uh, so I have a, a little colony of funnel ants here. Um, so if I wanted to heat these girls up a little bit, what I might do is just set their test tube nearby to the mat to start with. Now, the reason that I wouldn't sit it directly on top of the mat uh, straight away is because we definitely don't want to overheat the ants uh, because that's going to be um, very risky for their health. So just set it near to the mat. And what I suggest you do is use uh, one of our uh, hygrometers. It measures temperature and humidity. Have that near to the setup so that you can monitor the temperature and the humidity and see how your ants are faring. Uh, and that way you can keep a close eye on them and you can tell if you need to move it a little bit further away or a little bit closer or perhaps just have the end of the test tube on the mat uh, or provide them with a gradient so you can have one end closer or one end further away depending on what behaviours you're observing. Once your ants are out of the test tube and in a nest, um, I, I still think it's the same method. So you can start by sitting the nest just directly next to the heat mat. And again, keeping that hygrometer nice and close by to monitor what's going on. If your ants do seem as though they're uh, still a little bit um, chilly, you can just put the edge of the um, nest over the mat, uh, but I wouldn't put it fully on until you're sure you're not going to overheat your ants. You wanna be careful with that. So that's with a, a small nest. And then it's even the same if they're into a bigger nest like this one. You can just start by setting it next to or maybe just a little bit over. And at least then they have a gradient from cool to warmer uh, to choose where they want to be. But it's just very important that when you're using a heat mat, you're watching at the start um, to see what they're doing. So you don't want to overheat them. Hope that's helpful, guys. See ya.